beloved faithful. With joy and anticipation, we once again embark on our journey through the Nativity Fest, a season of preparation for the glorious feast of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. During this time, our hearts and minds are called to reflect on the profound mystery of the Incarnation and to embrace a spirit of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. As we immerse ourselves in the Nativity Fest, we are reminded of the humility of the Theotokos, the Holy Virgin Mary, who received the angelic announcement with the words, let it be done to me according to your word. Her humble and obedient response to the will of God serves as a model for us all. Through our own humility and willingness to accept God's will in our lives, we can draw closer to Him. In the Gospel according to Luke, we are told of the journey of Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem where there was no room at the inn. This humble beginning of our Savior's earthly life teaches us the importance of simplicity and detachment from material things. The Nativity Fest provides us with an opportunity to simplify our lives, to fast from excess, and to make room in our hearts for the arrival of the Christ child. Through prayer, let us seek to come near to the manger of Bethlehem, where we encounter the infant Jesus, born in poverty and humility, yet adorned by shepherds and wise men alike. Let us set aside time for daily prayer, reading the Holy Scriptures, and participating in the rich liturgical life of our Church. In doing so, we open ourselves to the transformative grace of Jesus Christ. Fasting is another essential component of this season. By uh, abstaining from certain foods, we discipline our bodies and in turn discipline our, our desires. As we practice self-control, we are reminded of our dependence on God and our solidarity with those who go without. May our fasting lead us to a deeper understanding of the spiritual nourishment that comes from the Word of God. Furthermore, the Nativity Fest calls us to a life of charity and almsgiving. Let us extend a hand to the poor and those in need, for in doing so we serve Christ himself. In the Gospel of Matthew, our Lord reminds us, Amen, Amen, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brothers, you did it to me. As we embark on this journey through the Nativity Fest, may we find inspiration in the example of the Theotokos, the humility of the Holy Family, and the loving compassion of our Lord. Let our hearts be filled with joy and anticipation as we prepare to celebrate 
the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. With the blessings of the Holy Theotokos and all the saints, I pray that this Nativity Fest may be a time of spiritual growth and renewal for, for each of you. May the grace of Jesus' nativity fill your hearts with peace, love, and hope.